What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on The Electric. We are headed right now over to Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. You know, we've been alluding to this experience in a few videos and we're finally here in Vegas having a little adventure. She's taking pictures looking like a hot model. I'm just doing food challenges and looking like crap, like always. No. <laughs> So we're gonna go to Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. We actually made a, you had to make a reservation for this place. Uh, we reserved our spot about three, about 40, actually almost a week ago. So I'm actually really excited for this. I know I'm for sure getting a beef wellington. Uh, basically all the dishes here, everybody, are like $80. It's insane. So I was like, you know what, we're in Vegas, so why not? We're getting the beef wellington for sure. I don't know what Christy's gonna get, but we're gonna have a great time. Hopefully they'll let us film in the restaurant. You guys know it's always a little weird when we do that, so we'll see you guys at Gordon Ramsay's. 12 seconds later. Alrighty, folks, we're here at Hell's Kitchen. We made it. It's time to do it. This is crazy. Oh, no. I mean, come on, seriously, look at that. It's fucking gorgeous. Beautifully colored scallops cooked to perfection. That's right, right here in Hell's Kitchen. A delicious plate of perfectly cooked scallops. Now that's worthy of being on your social media feed. First time. That's what I came for. I came for the beef Okay, so this is like the first time that we're actually sitting across from each other. It's kind of awkward, but we're not going to sit on the same side in a nice restaurant like this. We don't have a choice. So I'm thinking I'll show you what we both get, and then there's going to be a little bit of commentary for both of us. I think we should get the crispy Brussels sprouts, wherever those are. Are those? They don't even have those on the... Huh, that sucks. Okay, so no crispy Brussels sprouts. Do you want to try the pan seared scallops? I was just gonna say, I think we should probably try that. It's Gordon Ramsay, so we gotta do the pan, pan seared scallops, and then I'm going to do the beef wellington, for sure. And then, what do you want, a salad? The world's is your oyster. So she's gonna do the, um, the Gigordi chicken scallopini then. And then, um, can I get the, just, I don't want the three course ones, I just want, can I get the beef wellington? Yeah. So that comes with the vegetables and then the potato puree. It does. Can you help me pan for perfect medium rare? Okay, um, yeah, I, I'll do it. I generally like my steak like well done, but I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Sure, you'd be so interested. And then uh, we're gonna try the, the pan seared scallops with an outsider. We're going fully like the Hell's Kitchen way today, yes. so. Tell me why you're not made for fancy restaurants. I'm not made for fancy restaurants, but I'm very clumsy. And I'm like Mia from The Princess of Aries, and things fly, and things get spilt, and I do better at like five guys. Okay, maybe we'll go there next. I got the beef Wellington. My love got a Caesar salad, and we got the pan seared. Oh yeah, you got the Giordori chicken, and then we got the pan seared scallops. I was not gonna insult him by getting a salad. I wasn't gonna insult corn rice. So. And I can't get my steak well done like I like. I have to get a medium rare. You have the first bite. I feel like and I'm not gonna lick the spoon. Like I have to be like well behaved. Oh wow! Good. It's peas. It's peas. Thank you so much. 
Wow. Wow. Look at that thing. That's sexy. That is sexy for sure. Look at that. So what did you get again? It's chicken. I don't know. It's chicken. Giadori chicken. Yeah. With a glaze on it. That yeah. looks amazing. So good. So beef Wellington, if you don't know, is it's a it's a fillet, and then it's wrapped in puff pastry, and I think that's pretty much it. This is my first time ever trying it. Peanut butter, pineapple, chocolate mousse cake. I think we're gonna go with the pineapple because Percy loves pineapples. No, we're gonna get yeah. Right. Sweet. Awesome. Oh my god. That's awesome. Thank you. That's cool. That's sick. Super cool. Look at that. I think that's ice cream on top. Then you see the pineapple. Pineapple. Go ahead. First bite. I don't even know where it's like I don't even know where to start. It wasn't so dark behind you. I can't even get. I can't even get anything. I don't even know what this is. Well, that's just pineapple. You got to get the ice cream. That's really. 
really good, right? Wow. All right, here we go. Alrighty guys, so that was absolutely amazing. So in case you were wondering how much it cost, babe, how much was it? Um, 155 with tip, but the manager was very, very kind. Manny comps our dessert, and so Tom shout out to Manny. He said it was on them, which was super nice. Hold on, we got a very loud song going on right now. I've never ever thought about how much they play music in public places until I started being a YouTuber. It's so true. Uh, so now, we did technically get dessert, but we're going to a specialty cinnamon bun place for dessert for you guys for this video. Because we both love cinnamon rolls. Yes. Cineholic. So we'll see you soon. Two hours later. And we are here at Cineholic Gourmet Cinnamon Rolls. This is gonna be good. We're actually getting some because it's dessert. This is actual dessert. Hi there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get um, one custom with uh, peanut butter frosting, and then the top is going to have pretzels on top. Of this. For mine, can I just do, can I do marshmallow? Frosting, and then can I do the pie crumble? You don't need a fork and a knife, babe. Can we reach a bit? Yep. Alrighty, folks. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Yum. Alright, guys. Vote down below. Which one would you eat? Eric's or Christie's? Alright. Vote down below. This is a very serious battle, okay? We had such an amazing time at Hell's Kitchen. Um, did you want to get those? Oh, yeah, you got those. I was going to say. We're going to need a fork and a knife to eat this, guys. I don't even know. Alright. Well, do you want to cut into it and get a nice, or like, yeah. There you guys go. There you have it. And then there's the inside of mine right there. It smells freaking amazing. Okay, ready? Oh, I'm gonna get some of my good frosting on there. Cheers, it. Uh oh, I keep losing a bite. I'm sorry. It's like hot. It's just like falling off the fork. I can make a freaking mess. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Boom. Eating the fruit. <laughs> It always goes out of the frame. Oh my goodness. Woo! Wow. Oh my goodness. Amazing people, just look at it. Are you serious? I'm gonna say mine wins for sure. Oh, oh no, mine is amazing. It's like that. It's like a cinnamon roll even enhanced because it's like cinnamon with brown Bro. sugar and everything. Mine's perfect. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, let me try yours. Oh my goodness, dude, yeah, it's pretty, it's, it's good on the peanut butter. Is there a pretzel on it? You want a pretzel on there? Yeah. Just throw it on there. Just want to get like the whole experience. Okay. Oh no, mine's way better. But I will say though, the the pretzel edition is good. Look at all. There you go. Like this is just Don't ever focus, babe. cinnamon and sugar and um, oatmeal. It's like a pie crust topping. Wow. I have to say, um, I could legit just sit here and eat the frosting. The frosting is very, very so good. Very good. It's good because they make these here like they're fresh to order. Mm -hmm. Like every time you order one, it's fresh. Wow. I've never had marshmallow frosting before because typically, but I mean, like it's kind of, it's just like vanilla. So I've had like vanilla icing on cinnamon rolls before. I just took the classic cinnamon roll and I just made it even more classic. It's like freaking amazing. Oh yeah, I know you want that bite. It's just like that. I don't think peanut butter should go on cinnamon rolls. Mm -mm. I will say this is a learning experience for me, guys. A big learning experience for me. My first gourmet cinnamon roll. I went hard with the peanut butter. Yeah. I've done a lot of new things today with the beef Wellington. Yeah. And this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You gotta you gotta admit that that's. I mean, I'm taking big steps today. Yeah, you have. I'm proud. But um, but. Overall, I would say... Because we're like boring eaters. We like the same stuff. We have a hard time trying new things. Exactly. Hence the classic. My, my favorite part today, though, had to have been um, uh, either visually the pineapple um, oh, the, dessert. Oh, that dessert was so cool. So cool. Um, the, beef, the beef Wellington didn't live up to my expectations, unfortunately. Um, I thought my chicken was amazing. Do you want another bite? Because mine's better than yours. It is. What was your favorite part about today? <sighs> um... I, I thought today, I thought today out of the days that we've been here has been the 
most fun. For sure. Yeah, it's been really good. I really enjoyed the Gordon Ramsay restaurant. We just had like really cool like inter encounters today with like we got recognized a couple times. Um, that was fun. The guy at the Gordon Ramsay restaurant like came over and like chatted us up. Like it was so random how people have just kind of like I don't know. Walked over. Yeah. Yeah. One, um, our waitress was, I mean, like, everybody was very complimentary there mm -hmm. and just, I don't know. Like, it was interesting. Cineholic, even though I did, I went hard with the peanut butter, it still gets an Mine 8 out of 10 for me. Just... Hers is a 10 out of 10, for mm -hmm. sure. So, Definitely. everybody that voted Team Christy on, on the cinnamon roll game, you guys totally won. That's if nice. you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to let us know down in the comments below. And also, I guess next next time we go on a trip when we go to a new city we're gonna have to visit some other famous restaurant oh yeah absolutely. so let us know what you guys want to see down in the comments below and uh yeah we hope you guys enjoy the video the electrics are out